All right, guys, tell me one thing you think that people don't do anymore in tennis or they do it so rare, but it's such a good strategy in singles or especially in doubles. What do you think that is? Serve and volley. So many people nowadays with new technology, new racket strings, they come out and swing in the ball and stay in the baseline all day and never come into the net. And when they do, they're so afraid. But really, you just need to practice a little bit, get your volleys good, and you're gonna become just one of those guys that are gonna put pressure on your opponents to win some points. So we had so many people coming and we trained them uh, and they serve, hit a massive serves or hit a good forehands and they stay back and lose that chance to finish the point. How many of you are on the same page? We got to finish those points, guys. So today I'm going to teach you how to serve and volley and come into the net. I know it's a challenging task, but I'm sure you can do it and you're excited just as I am excited about it. I love that task and I'm going to teach you how to do it. But before we jump into it, I just wanted to tell you that uh, in the previous video we posted, we had people commenting on what's going to happen. We're going to have huge things coming up in the next couple of weeks, few weeks. And we had so many people commenting. So today, we're gonna have a winner. And as a matter of fact, I don't even know who the winner is, to be honest. So it's gonna be just as surprising for me as it's surprising for you guys. So uh, if you're watching, if you made a comment from the last video, uh, you have a few seconds before I open, maybe you can run down and actually uh, click, but uh, to be honest, the winner is already here. So, so let me jump in a second and see who the winner is. And the winner is unknown. The winner is unknown. Uh, so I guess you guys didn't get it right. Uh, so we're gonna give you an additional few weeks until maybe we're already published it and maybe you can actually get it right so I don't have to have this kind of envelopes that have not, no information. All right, so that kind of, we got done with that. But uh, to be honest, there was some unbelievable comments. I absolutely loved it. So we're gonna post some of them on the, on the screen. Uh, absolutely loved it. I, was, I had so much fun watching it and reading those comments. You guys are really creative. It's, it's impressive. I really enjoy that. Thumbs up to you. If I could subscribe to those comments, I would actually, to be honest. But uh, so now we're going to, before we start, obviously, guys, uh, we're going to jump in the first drone in the second. But before we do that, please, uh, uh, I want you to join our free course that we posted. Because without a serve, you cannot serve in volley. So I really want you to spend time. And if you don't have a good serve, Pause this video, I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna be here. Go on our link below, join our course, watch it. It's not that long, it's gonna help you out. Go practice a little bit, maybe come back in a few days and then continue watching this video and it's gonna help you out. All right, let's start with the first drill, guys. All right, guys, so now I hope you watched the course. I hope your serve got better or it's already good. Uh, and now let's talk about the placement of the serve. So it's very important part of serving volley when you come into the net because if you misplace your serve or you put it somewhere, you, your serve is too slow, it's too easy to return, you won't be, be able to execute volleys or it's gonna be very challenging. So the first thing we need to focus on, where are you actually gonna place the serve? Uh, so the, of course you can go down the tee, body serves, you can go out wide. Now you have to work with also uh, spins, like you can go flat, slice or whatnot. So you have to figure out first of all, if you know your opponent, you probably know how they return, if they stay too far back or whatnot, uh, or they're closing in, they return flat, tops and whatever. Uh, so now if you have a good flat serve and the guy does not handle the pace, well, here's your answer. You can go with a big flat serve down the tee, or into their back in the weaker side, so if it's their back and so, and then come into net. So now, so what would I do? I would go big flat serve, I'm coming in, get an easy volley and I can put it away on the other side. Now, what if you're playing somebody uh, who has a good return and they like the pace? Now, what are you gonna face with? So you play one player, you serve and volley from time to time, you win points and all of a sudden, you do the same serve, you go, flat come in boom the ball comes fast so you're actually returning somewhere in no man's land and that's becoming a problem because it's very challenging volley so always in your feet so it's going to be hard for you to uh, uh, to volley back so what are you going to do you have to give yourself time so in order to give yourself more time you need to get a kick serve or a slice so the ones that like pace you got to kick the ball up a little bit slice into their body so you can go with the same to their backhand, kick serve, so you'll get a little bit closer to the service line, and by, by the time they hit, you can also uh, cut off the angles, or body serve. So you slice the ball into the body and come into the net as well. 
Uh, in a second, well, I'll have a race on the other side, so we're gonna show you how actually that would work in the point play. Uh, but before we even start that, I wanna also describe, can you serve in volley in the second serve? Sure you can. Uh, a lot of people don't even try that, but think about how many people actually have done it uh, serving volley in the second serve. You can throw a nice kick, come into that, it actually throws people off because they think they can just hit the ball deep, so a lot of times they try to keep the ball deep and strike the ball uh, to the baseline, you're coming in, and it's going to be right on your waist level, which is very comfortable. Of course, if you just dink your serve, if you, if you have a serve like this, so you probably don't want to come into the net, because they're just going to give them so much time, they're going to tee off and then return. The only thing you're hoping for is that they're going to miss the return, so probably you don't want to do that. Now, the way you come in, so after you decide, okay, this is the serve I'm using against this player, how do you come into the net? Make sure after the serve, you want to make up the distance. So you're gonna finish the serve, you gotta get as many stats in as quick as possible. But when your opponent re uh, returning, at the time when he strikes the ball, you gotta split step no matter where you're at, even if you're behind the service line. You have to remember that split step will help you to redirect your body and go to the one side or the other. You can cut off the angles out there. So now after the split, make sure you're not planting. Don't go split step and plant completely waiting for the ball to come to you. You gotta immediately move to one side or the other. So when you're here, split step and then move forward and cut the angle off. So uh, even if you're behind the service line, you did the split step, you still have time to cut the angles off and volley a little bit more inside of the service line. All right, so Aris is gonna jump on the other side. We're gonna show you a few uh, live ball drills where you can practice those serving volleys, all right? All right, so here's the first drill you're gonna do. If you haven't done serving volley much, of course, it's easier when you're close to the net. So uh, you're gonna go to, you're gonna split. If you don't have that orange line, orange core lines, uh, you can just kind of put the line in the middle between the service line and the baseline. You're gonna make a serve. Uh, of course, don't try to smash the serve from here because for your opponent it's going to be tough to return. So try to make it somewhat comfortable, kind of play around with it, do some kick serve slices and come into the net from here so you can get comfortable. Now make sure if, you, if you're serving to the deuce side, when you end up split stepping, you got to be a little bit more on your left. Okay, so when the ball is going to come diagonal, let's say he's hitting an angle, you want to go diagonal, cut it off. Uh, it's a little bit of reverse from the baseline. And if the ball goes down the line, it will be easier for you to cover down the line shot. So we're going to introduce a couple of things here. I'm going to return. And I'm going to try to put it away on the other side. And we're going to do a few reps on the deuce side. Like that. And you can see if you go down the T on the, on the deuce, I'll show you again. It's hard for your opponent to find an angle. So most of the time that, that uh, return is gonna go to you. I can also go body serve. Which does pretty much the same effect. Uh, uh, and it's hard, especially if the guys are taller. Uh, it's harder for them to get around. Um, as a shorter guy, you know, somebody very tall has good reach. Doing the body serve helps a lot. All right, now we're gonna try to do the same thing on the ad side. So we're gonna try with the kick to the back end, like that, come in, put the volley away, and you see I was going too close to the line, so you can actually hit away from the line, so you don't have to be so risky. Just like that. And a lot of times when you volley, a lot of people try to, when they get the high ball, they try to go hard like that and smack it. And a lot of times you make an error. In reality, if you get the slice through the service line with a little bit of an angle, that's just enough to win the point. So let's assume your opponent has a little weaker forehand. You can go down the tee, cut the angle off and then hit that short slice to win the point. And we can also use the body serve like that and then put the ball away to open court. Now we're gonna do the same thing now from the baseline. And of course, that's where you're gonna serve in the actual matches. So we're gonna go all the way back. Now he doesn't know what's gonna happen. I'm just serving first serve, second serves, and I'm trying to apply it in the point play, all right? So let's try. 
There you go, just like that. See, nothing crazy, staying low, keeping your racket in front, making sure you're blocking the volley in the open court. Just like that. So you can see, like right now, the ball came to your strike zone, he hit the ball low on my feet, so I need to change up my serves, uh, maybe get a body serve. That's something you'll have to do as you come in. Like that, so you see what was easier for me on that one to let the ball bounce and just block it instead of taking it as a volley. So sometimes you have to really see which one. You see, your ball came a little higher. We'll do a couple more on the ad side just to see how we'll do there. He gets it up, throw it, buddy, serve. Just like that, you see what came right to me, a lot of body serves, they're not gonna go anywhere away from you, it's gonna go right to you. Just have to be ready and block the ball to open court. You can do kick, and just open court again. Now at the end, you see, we're talking about flat serve, so we can try that too. See how that works. If your pace is substantial to hurt your opponent, that could be a good serve as well, but be careful of those. That's it. You see what happens? I got a flat serve. The ball is a little bit out, but that what could happen when a person can handle your pace. The ball comes so fast that sometimes you won't even be able to make it halfway. And the ball is going to be around. So you really have to be very careful for those flat serves. All right, guys. Uh, enjoy helping you today. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I'll see you next time. Let's say I, I, I got the guy who has a weaker backhand, so I can jump in. He had a serve. Man, I'm so sore, dude, <laughs> after workout. <laughs> I can't even lift my arm. Hold on. <laughs> oh, man. You have no idea. It's too much bench for us. <laughs>